Okay, let's look at this example. Uh, exercise 11.2, accelerations. Okay, so it says, determine the direction of the average acceleration in each of the following situations. The average acceleration. Okay, so a car goes over the top of a hill at constant speed. So how do we determine it? Well, remember that if we look at A here, remember that average acceleration is delta V over delta T and delta V is V final minus V initial or V final equals V initial plus delta, um, delta V. Okay? Either of those are correct. So look at this velocity vector, look at that final velocity vector. So if we use if we use this way, then what do we need? We say let's draw our um, final velocity. Okay, there's my final velocity. There's Vf. Now we are subtracting Vi. So Vi, if you were if you would add Vf and Vi you would get something like this. If you said VF plus VI, you would take VI, VI is pointing in that direction, you would do that, right? That's if you added VF and VI. But we are saying VF minus VI. So that's wrong. So we're saying VF minus VI. There's VI. There's minus VI. Negative VI. And then we know that delta V must land on the same spot as these two vectors when you add these two up. So there is delta V. So delta V is acting down, which makes sense because it's curving like this. So delta V is acting down, all right? And so, um, and so your acceler delta, your A, your acceleration is also in the same direction as that. So, so there's your, um, your ac average acceleration is also in the same direction. What about using this technique? Right? So now Vf is equal to Vi plus delta V. So take Vi, there's Vi, and, and Vf at the, put their tails together, why is that? Because Vf must end up at the same position that Vi plus delta V end up. Okay? So, again, we add those together and we get our V final. So, V initial plus delta V must give us V final. As you can see, I know I didn't do it properly, but this, this must be pointing down. So, these, these two are the same. So whether you, whether you use this technique or that technique, you should get the same delta, delta V. Okay? So this, this should be pointing straight down, delta V. Okay, delta V, delta V, you get your acceleration pointing down. Now let's look at B, a person running and then slowing down. So you've got, there's your, your VI is so long, and then your VF is shorter. So using either of these techniques, <clears throat> let's use this technique. Delta V is V final minus V initial. So we've got V, we've got V final, draw the V final vector. And then the negative of delta of VI, head to tail method. So that's minus VI. And then <clears throat> you're going to get um, you're going to get this. That's your delta V. So V final minus V initial must equal delta V. So delta V is pointing in that direction, which makes sense um, because that is the same as your, your acceleration is delta V over delta T. So the, he has a negative acceleration. 
So what happens if you chose use this technique? Then you would say you would draw V I, which is that long, and you would draw V F, which is that long. And so um, V I, that's V I, and that's V F. So V F must equal V I plus delta V. So delta V. You see, both techniques are the same. Okay, what about um, C? I don't need to keep doing this again and again. You got V final, V initial, V final, and V V initial plus V plus delta V gives us V final. Okay. All right. I think that's enough. I think you guys are getting the hang of it. This guy is going in, uh, this is a constant velocity, so there's no, delta V is zero. All right.